triple digit temperatures you can expect tonight, right? Yeah, guys, it is going to get cold to say the least. A bitter start to your Wednesday, but tomorrow afternoon, we should at least see a little bit more in the way of sun. Hopefully, enough to help clean up the roads. Interquest near Northgate along northern portions of Colorado Springs still looking like a mess. This is a look from our Safe Splash Swim School near Bass Pro Shop up on the north end of town. Manitou Springs, the roads there also looking not so pleasant. 11 degrees, the current temperature in Manitou Springs. Pueblo, though, roads are clear, still have quite a bit of snow on some of the colder surfaces like the front yard. And if you haven't moved your car, the windshield of your car likely also covered in a bit of snow right now. Skycast is showing that the waves that we have been continuing to track through the afternoon over northern El Paso County, those are going to wind down as we head into your early Wednesday morning. Skies will gradually clear as we head through midnight tonight. The only area where we are expecting snow to continue will be up across the high country. Again, this is a look at midnight, still getting some light snow in the mountains. That trend will continue into early tomorrow morning. Here's a look at 8 o'clock. Tomorrow morning the biggest challenge for drivers will of course be the leftover snow on the roads and just a few clouds side streets that's where you'll run into the biggest issues as we head through your wednesday so again give yourself some extra time primary roads though interstates looking to be clear just fine as of this evening take a look at skycast at lunchtime could see a few flakes flying around the Pikes Peak region, especially up around Teller County. That's what Skycast is suggesting. I think, however, this is going to be the exception rather than the rule. I do expect most areas to stay clear as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So gradually clearing out, icy patches are expected. It is going to be cold, though. Temperatures tonight, we are dropping into the single digits for most with even a few spots, including Colorado Springs, dropping to below zero. High temperatures tomorrow, only getting into the 20s and 30s. If we we get a bit of sun that will of course make it feel a bit nicer and thankfully the wind tomorrow will not be quite as gusty as it was out there today. Checking out your seven day forecast. 30s are expected Thursday into Friday. We do have another wave that is going to slide in, bringing the chance for at least some snow. Doesn't look like this storm system is going to be anything impressive, though, at best. Could end up with a couple inches along the Palmer Divide around our local mountains. Most, though, just get the dusting. 40 degree temperatures this weekend. Another chance for snow moves in late Monday and early on Tuesday. Pueblo 30 degrees tomorrow. We'll warm it up, though, Thursday into Friday this weekend. We are in the mid to upper 40s. Upper 30s Monday. Back in the 40s, though, once the showers move out of here by Tuesday afternoon. Canyon City, 29 tomorrow, 37 on Thursday, 35 on Friday. Again, a slight chance for a few flakes around Thursday night and into Friday morning. But everything gets out of here just in time for the weekend. 40s are expected with 30s on Monday. We'll drop it back into the 40s on Tuesday. In Delaware County, 19 degrees is what we'll end up with tomorrow with 30 degrees as your high temperature on Thursday. Our cold front moves in late on Thursday. We'll drop temperature slightly on Friday, bringing in just a 20% chance for snow, but as I mentioned, only minor accumulations with that system. So the storm that just moved through makes one to three inches sound like nothing. Yeah. Child's play. That's yeah. what we could see at best it's with that late week. Yeah. yeah, no big deal. We can survive. You probably won't even notice on top of the snow that we have out there right now. My goodness, we got.